but I'm not gonna let it kill my vibe. I'm not gonna let it kill my vibe. What's up, fellow YouTubers? Actually, trying to fix my sleep and get back on being up during the day, sunlight. I want to. I want to be up while you're here, but the sun's not out. Yeah, I'm gonna study this a little bit right here. Then might actually work on a toy review video. And then, um, gonna attempt to make another reaction Ruby video. I gotta remember how I used to do the video so I didn't get copyrighted for them. And, uh, after that, then go to the gym. Is that a double chin coming in? <laughs> I don't want the double chin. 30 minutes later. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I procrastinated for a good 30 minutes. All right, I'm gonna study for real now. All right, we'll do a time lapse video, but I don't have that much memory on my phone. All right, eight minutes later. Uh, yo, I'm eight minutes in and I'm already sleepy. Blah, 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 blah. Like, but all right, now let's go back to studying. <laughs> Dude, you get it? Like I'm about to dive deep into it, like dive into. This. Okay, whatever says, is security considerations you should make surrounding some of the hot technologies today? Shouldn't be should make surrounding some of the hottest technologies today? Man, I have the attention span of a squirrel. Because they move so fast and they don't stay in one place for a long time. Alright, better news. I did read for 15 minutes. <sighs> and now I'm on Facebook. Why? It's, it's so hard to stay focused now. Come on! Alright, it's enough of that. We're gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna hop on a treadmill and jog for an hour. My goal right now is to jog for an hour. I am tired, but I'm gonna do it. Come on, Caleb. Don't go down. You can do it. Just believe in yourself. Believe. I can do it. I'm not gonna let this kill my vibe. I'm not gonna let it kill my vibe. I just found like the quickest way to lose 50 bucks. At your apartment. So, of course, with my last job, I moved a couple times from Baltimore. Then I stayed in. Oh, they are so full of baloney. Okay, so my phone just cut off for a second there because I got a phone call. My insurance place said they tried to fax my information. They didn't pick up. But anyway, because I moved so many times, I transferred my renter's insurance from one apartment to the other one. And what they were saying is that. The time that I was at my last apartment, a year has passed, so they thought that, I'm guessing that the lease is, that the lease or the renter's insurance is supposed to be up. They sent me a letter, and the letter said, make sure you have renter's insurance, because if you don't have it, then you're gonna have to pay an extra 50 bucks. I didn't worry about it, because I'm still paying on my renter's insurance. I know that I still have it, like I get a confirmation, all that good stuff for renter's insurance. Then, they leave me a letter today but it was dated for yesterday. I live in my place, so I go outside, that said, hey, you owe us 50 bucks because you didn't show us proof of your renter's insurance. I was like, what? And I said, well, if I show it, then do I still owe 50 bucks? Yes, you still gotta pay the 50 bucks because it's past the deadline. Why'd you wait to put the letter on my door then? But I said, I have it. Like, your letter said, if I have it. And then they said, no, if you look here, and right at the bottom, it, it said, must also bring proof to the office. So I lost 50 bucks and then I went in there and I stayed calm and I talked to the lady and I was like, yo, I have all the stuff that you need. And then she said, all right, just tell them to fax it right now. So I called on my agent for Allstate right then, right there. Kind of funny, get very good customer service with them, but it's just for renters insurance. I wish all like customer service and life was like that. But anyway, she said, okay, just give us the fax thing and we'll fax it right then and there. And I was like, okay, cool, got it, let's do it. Then whenever I go to fax it, they just called me back and said, hey, Mr. Craig, just so you know, the fax number did not work. I'm like, ah! I'm already like two or three minutes from the gym, so I'm gonna get it in. They go straight back there and then tell the lady, hey, the crap you sent me does not work. And I'm gonna bring my laptop and say, what is your address? What's your email address so I can send it right in there? But I'm not gonna let it kill my vibe. <coughs> it's not gonna kill my vibe. No, no, no. Gonna kill my vibe. <laughs> I makes people think I'm crazy. You know what, guys? When dumb things like this like happen in life and you lose money for no reason, you just need a hug. So can y'all give me a hug, a vlog hug? Just give me a hug. It's gonna be alright, Caleb. Just a hug. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for that air hug, you guys. It means a lot. Alright, and I wanna say I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are like, what? You do? Did you make a dance video? You bet your bottom dollar I did. Caleb? 
What's going on? Was that a dance video? One, two, what was that? Well, here's the thing. Uh, I'm a really huge K-pop fan, like really big K-pop fan. I love it. Like, I don't know, right now, like we have some really good like rappers that just go around stage. Then we have a lot of ones that just mumble now. And I'm not into all that, you know? Like, I like people that still perform, that can sing, that can rap and do all this stuff at the same time. And guess what? That is K-pop. And EXO is pretty awesome. They have a group, and it's a guy named Kai. And this dude, like, dances like Michael Jackson. Like, you can tell he has a passion. I love that group. I love BTS, TWICE, EXIT. I just love K-pop. I don't know how. It's my sister's fault. She got me into K-pop, and I love it now. So... It'll be a few dance videos here and there. I know it's kind of random, but I'm still me. I'm just doing me a little bit more now. Then I proceeded to get the best workout of my life. This isn't my gym. I just found the image on Google. <laughs> uh, I'm sticky and sweaty. I'm tired. Well, I'm not I'm not as tired as the last time I went to the gym. I was pretty tired then. Now I'm just kind of in. Take a shower, then attempt to study some more, and then probably do a few other things tonight. See how it goes. Ah! I gotta go back into the office and get their email address because they didn't send and <coughs> give me the right fax number. Oh, I forgot. All right, let's do it. Hopefully the office doesn't close till six. I usually I do stuff at the in the morning or whatever. We'll find out. Okay, so this actually ended pretty good. I went back to the office and it was closed, and I think they closed it like at five forty-five or whatever. It feels like five fifty something. And whenever I went there, the next day, the lady said she talked to her boss, and her boss said I didn't have to pay the 50 as long as I showed proof. So, hey, I actually beat life this time. All right. All right, y'all. I know this vlog is all over the place. Man, we're going to have to fix all this today. I got another, um, uh, what's it called? Little interview and evaluation for agency tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. But right now, I have a Coke. What am I going to do with this? I definitely spilled some of that on my leg. Yeah, so I actually didn't get to go to drink it. I got to clean off the top of my battery. What's really awkward and funny about this is that my new neighbor had parked the car right beside me, and she was awkwardly watching me as I poured it and was videotaping myself holding the Coke over the battery, which looks very awkward. So, congratulations. You see how clean that looks now? <laughs> you know, Coca Cola. God, this shirt looks way too big. All right, fellow YouTubers, Deadpool Toys and 2 here. I'm actually going to attempt to do this challenge that I've been watching uh, from this guy called Infinite List, where a lot of people will have a water bottle full of water and they will try to drink it in one second. I'm going to literally try this one time and see how it goes. <laughs> I don't think this is going to go good, but I'm going to try it. This is my, isn't the smartest idea. I got an appointment tomorrow, and I'm, about, and I'm supposed to be going to the gym in like 40 minutes. We'll see how this goes, though. All right. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna go so bad. Okay. Can we do it? Dude, I feel like I'm gonna get soaked. I'm gonna spit up on stuff. Here we go. Alright. Three, two, one. I don't think I did it. Okay. I got scared halfway through. I'm sure I look like a little punk. I still got some left, but all right, that was my attempt at it, oh man. After cleaning myself up, I went to the gym and then my friend asked me to pick him up from the airport. Yo, I am here right now at the biggest airport in Atlanta, Georgia, Hartsfield or whatever here. Friend was like, yo, can you pick me up from the airport? I was like, okay. Then it went through all the busy traffic. It, it, it was late at night, so I didn't think that it would be that crowded. It's still crowded. And it's like, it's a traffic jam at the airport, what? I mean, how? Like, we come to a stop. Yo, we picked up Terrence. He's good. Had to stop him at the bank. He had to get some money. I, I was blown. Like, that huge line of cars. And I was like, this sucks. And then it's like there. Like, it tell, like it tells you, go left to go to the south terminal. Go right to go to the north terminal. And I didn't know where he was. So I was like, I'm about to mess this up. I'm going to mess this up. Welcome to my place. But anyway, I was like, I'm going to mess this up. And then I went north and I called him like, yo, where are you? He's like, I'm in north. And I was like, yes, I'm in north. And then I was stuck in that little traffic jam. But I was like, yes, I'm stuck in the traffic jam on the way that he is. And then I passed like N2. And he said, yo, I'm at N3. I said, yo, I'm pulling up right now on N3. And it went so smoothly. Like, like I'm the one that gets lost like really easy. So I was glad that I did it. Back to the vlog, Terrence. My, 
This is my strong, this is my strong friend. He works out with weights. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all in a minute. I gotta go back to the airport. Let's take care of some business. All right, y'all, it's the next day. We had the appointment, but I can't go dressed like this. Let's change it. All right, all good, now let's go. All right, out here, here with Terrence. Say hi, Terrence. What's up? We are at the Cumberland Mall in Atlanta. The actual appointment went really good with the agency. I gotta do a whole bunch of things. Gotta stay in shape, fighting, and we're about to go chill at the mall. Let's see what happens. I wanna connect no Wi-Fi. Get off, get off, leave me know. Cancel. Dude, they got the power line shirt. Are you serious? If you listen to each other's heart, fire and melody, fire and maybe love is the reason why. Yo, I have got to get that shirt. Oh my gosh. So I had to get it. I had to get it. I was not gonna get it, but I had to. It just looked too cool. I had to get it. The next day. All right. Okay. So actually. Uh, I want to go to the gym, but my stomach is like tore up from the floor up, so I got to go get some pepto -Bismo. So let's go get some pepto <laughs> Alright, now we're ready. Man, my stomach is done. Like, I'm in the car on the way to Walgreens to get some pepto -Bismo. Hopefully, they actually have the, um, uh, what's it called? The, uh, bubblegum flavored. I tried. I can't, I can't remember when they made a red one, if it was cherry or what, but all I can say is, like, <laughs> But now when someone's like bubbling, like I feel like I just ate Taco Bell or something. Now I gotta use it, so I gotta go to the store. I'm gonna uh, probably drink the stuff in the car like it's a Sprite, and then I'm gonna use the bathroom, and then hopefully I can go to the gym. I don't know why my stomach hurts so much. I, I had some peanuts that literally said heart healthy. So I'm assuming like, you know, like they're good for your heart and all that stuff, and apparently like they're good for the heart because my heart feels fine, you know, I'm breathing and stuff, but my stomach is torn from the floor up like and also like there's like a pain in my stomach like like fellas you ever been like kicked in like the testicles and then you feel that pain and it feels like i don't know like it's like it's just in your lower stomach like i feel that too and i don't know why i'm feeling it and it just keeps going like oh my gosh i feel it now but I know I'm going to explain a lot in the video about what happened throughout the day, but I have been doing a lot of stuff. And the one thing that I hate so much in Georgia is the traffic. Jesus Cristo, the traffic everywhere in Atlanta is so bad, y'all. And when I say bad, like, I don't mean just because it's busy, but you get, like, these douches that just completely cut you off all the time. And the main thing that sucks even more is that I have a black Toyota Corolla. This car is a very small car and I don't know, like people just assume, hey, this is a very small car. Let's cut them off. Go. It's clear. Don't make me miss it. And then... This is life. But anyway, it's like the traffic is so bad. Like I got cut off last night. It was like 11 o'clock when I went to pick up my friend from uh, the airport. And I got to go back in it tomorrow because I'm trying out for this like extra like casting thing. Well, not trying out, but I'm uh, registering so I can be an extra. Because what I'm seeing is that I'll go online and I will apply for movies and I'll send all my information. Well, not apply, but just send my information in, send in a headshot, you know, some headshots. And whenever I send them in, like I don't get a call back or anything. So I decided to go to the actual name of the castings and I filled out all the paperwork. So hopefully, you know, that's how it'll happen. And um, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna fill out all that stuff tomorrow. And supposedly it's like a little seminar class we gotta sit through. So I'm gonna sit through that and hopefully it'll go good. But I like all stuff like pertaining to film. Like if that has to do with just being an extra on like set, I, like, I even love that type of stuff because it's really close to acting and you get to see how they set up things and see how it works. But it does take some self-discipline because it takes a long time, but like you get paid like just to sit there and you know, chill and let's look cool like it's really fun and then it's a few times that you do get to see the actors and the act and the actresses and it's just awesome so we'll see how that goes yes you know this was not supposed to be a toy hunt video but i had to pick up loki i actually do not have a marvel legend on him yet i had to get him from thor ragnarok and i picked up the lady thor like dude i've been waiting for her figure for so long like that's like that figure that i just thought would not come out you know, just why, like, why do they have to actually come out with these figures right now when I do not have a job? I should not have bought those figures. I should not have bought those figures, but I needed them. Ah, 50 bucks gone. And this is on top of um, the next video I'm, I'm going to do, which I guess is going to be my next vlog when I'm going on a hunt to get the 
Jordan 13 breads. Then after that, we're going to full frugal mode. I might have to not eat some food for a couple days because I am unemployed. Woo! Speaking of that, I did go to the unemployment office and I filled out that stuff. Y'all, just stuff like governmental stuff like that and pertaining to like filling out paperwork and and all these rules and stuff it is so boring y'all like i went in there and like you don't try to judge like people but some people are so annoying like lady was like excuse me um i was on unemployment and then i stopped getting the money and then the lady's like ma'am you're not supposed to be in the in this class then and the lady stayed in the class and continued to ask questions and i was like ah and then this lady that was spanish got right beside me and she was like, can you read this to me? And I was like, like, I can read it to you. But they told us like to do this stuff in private, not next to each other. Like, you know, like, I, like, I shouldn't be telling you where to put in your social security number. And then she asked me to type up her stuff. And I was like, I, I can't do that type of thing. Yeah, but um, that's it. And uh, oh yeah, while we're at it, I just want to thank you guys. I uh, posted the uh, build a figure apocalypse video today, and thank you for the support and for the com and for the comments. I'm really glad that you guys watched it. it meant a lot to me. It meant a lot. Thank you very much. But uh, past that though, like that's pretty much it right now. I'm gonna take this Pepto Bismol and I'm gonna take it to the head. And hopefully it makes my stomach feel better and then we're gonna head to the gym and then tomorrow i'm gonna go into register to at least be extra let me do something that has to do with movies you guys like i'm giving this a hundred percent like trying my best to do what i'm passionate about or at least do something in that field i'm easily starting to learn stuff i'm starting to see like what things are um what's the right thing like what things are actually kind of just a huge trick and scams thank you ma'am and you know and learn all this stuff so we're trying to save up money but my goal is to get to the point where you know it's cool if i'm not like famous and all that stuff but i want to get to the point where i can like act and do stuff as far as in film and you know be able to support myself on it so when i don't get to the point where i have to worry about bills i can just focus on getting better at my craft like whether it pertains to this youtube channel or if it also has to do with uh what's the right thing nom 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 or if it has to do with like hopefully getting a movie or doing a TV series, just bringing out a character. You know, you look at people like Robert Downey Jr. Like he completely owned Iron Man. Like his past, like it's more than just it being a good movie. Like he, like he put his heart into that role, and you can kind of tell. You know, which is awesome, dude. Whoo! All right, it doesn't taste as good as I remember it. Ugh. All right, let's do a transition to get ready to go to the gym. Let's change our clothes. Never mind, I'm wearing the same clothes that I was gonna wear to the gym. All right, guys, went to the gym and it goes very smoothly. And this is the next day after I went to the meeting, which went very good. All right, you guys, I'm back in the car. I'm trying to enjoy this parking space a little bit more. <laughs> it was $15. Uh, that took about an hour and a half. So $15 for this parking to park my car here. Man, dude, stuff is expensive, dude. Everything takes money. I think um, you have to make some sacrifices. And I'm going to have to make some sacrifices. But when you're out here trying to do stuff and trying to go after your dream and all that, it takes money but i was able to sign up for a casting like company so hopefully i can start to be an extra in some really huge movies we'll see what happens and we'll go from there thank you so much for watching i remember you guys subscribe and become part of the deadpool toys one two army we are a family let's do this <laughs>